Hello everyone, it's Melissa, the M from the MNH of Bespoke Hairstyles. Yesterday I showed you my henna mix, the regime, and I've just washed my hair and I might be talking a bit fast because I'm expecting a client. So I thought I would show you this quickly because I won't have any other time to do this. And it's daytime as well. And normally when I finish, um, it's dark outside and you might not see the difference. I don't think you're going to see the difference, but I just wanted to show you this is how it looks when I've just washed it. It's still wet. Um, and um, so this is how it looks. Let me show you. Um, yeah, there it is. I mean, it's quite dark outside. Normally when the sun hits it, that's when you really see the color come through because it's supposed to kind of look natural. Like, oh, you've got a bit of red in your hair. Like uh, just the sun just brings it out. So it's quite dark. So I've kind of used extra light for you to see um, what it looks like. And that's it. I'm a bit shiny because I've literally just got out of the shower and I just thought, let me quickly show you um, what it looks like. I'll come a bit closer. Um, you can see there, there's there's my greys all now red, um, and that's it really. Um, and what I did, um, I just, um, as I said, I had done the mix, and because it had oil in it anyway, I didn't need to put oil, because normally I had oil before, um, through to my strands, but I didn't bother because it, it already had the castor oil in it. I thoroughly rinsed my hair, and then I, um, then I applied, and I basically started from the root to the tip. And as I said, when I apply henna, it's also to give my hair gloss and also to cover my greys temporarily. So within two weeks, my greys will start showing. Um, it's just to give my hair a bit of gloss and it feels nicely conditioned. Um, and I, I basically put it to the base, uh, put it through to the ends of my strands and then cling filmed it. Um, um, it was thoroughly immersed, cling filmed it and um, tied my hair um, scarf on. And then that was it, I went to bed and uh, woke up around, uh, no, actually just rinsed it out um, about an hour ago. It's now so around 10 o'clock, 10.30 I rinsed it out. So it was in my head right from the middle of the night. Um, I think I did the recording around half past midnight, some minutes to one until the morning um, at 10.30. Um, and um, when it was time to rinse, rinse with cool as cold water as possible because there's an egg in it you don't want the egg to cook into your hair um so very cool water thoroughly rinse thoroughly rinse the bath will be messy um, mine is always um and then that, that was it basically i thoroughly rinsed it and um then slowly slowly gradually the water became warmer um enough for me to be able to take it but that's, it's very important. You don't want to cook the egg. And, and that's it then, basically. And I've oiled through from the castor oil um, on my hair. As soon as it's out of the towel, I'd put um, castor oil through because I need it. My locks separated. Um, and that is it. Let me show you again. That's it. Now, really quickly, um, I wanted to tell you um, a little bit about what we, the other services do with sister locks, which is a grooming service. Um, it gets an eye to a grooming service and what that is is I am one of those people whose locks are come close does not have the hairs um, a lot of the hairs coming out through a lot of clients want their hair to be kind of smooth like this um, you have to be very careful when this service is being done because um, you've got to wait until you know the lock the hair is actually locked um, properly before um, grooming so it's a very specialized um, skill so for people who want a grooming service um, UK and beyond just be aware that your hair has to have locked so they shouldn't really be grooming the base of your hair around there um, they should really just be grooming the tip of your hair and holding on to my tip this reminds me of something else that you need to know UKers and beyond who are looking to sister lock up their hair when your hair is being locked up, um, you will notice that sister locks people have um, tiny curls at the end of their hair, people with sister locks. Well, um, it's important that when your hair is locked, it's locked as close to the tip as is physically possible. Because if it's not, it will become bulky at the end. Um, and if it's bulky at the end, um, when they are interlocking your hair at the base, 
This is what will cause the discomfort. The discomfort is your follicle saying, I, I actually am in pain, I don't like this mo motion of you pulling something quite thick through the hair and it increases the risk of hair loss. So please bear that in mind. When your sister locks is being installed, it must be installed to the tip and so that it's, it should all be one length so that it's easy to basically interlock the hair within itself. Just a quick tip for you. Um, oh, and that's it really. So we talked about hair now and this is the result of it. And um, I like, and I like the feel of it. And it feels really lovely and soft and glossy. I'll give you another twirl. And we also talked about um, the fact that people want grooming their hair sometimes to be neat. And um, sometimes you just have to accept the fact that your hair will fluff out. But we do provide this service for a client and they have enjoyed the service. And we really would only do it once every maybe six months if it's needed, basically. You won't do it often because it's, it could weaken the lock. It's a specialized skill. So um, be aware, make sure whoever's doing it is doing it properly. It's a very specialized skill. You don't want to start losing your locks um, trying to get the fluff out um, because there's only so much you can trim off. There's the back of my hair. And then we talked about the tips, yeah? Please be aware that when your sister locks is being installed, it must be installed as close to the tip as possible. Um, it is expensive to install sister locks, but that's why it's expensive because it must be done correctly. It must be done precisely, neatly. Um, it's very important. So yeah, it's just a tip for UK ears and beyond. Um, and if you're close to Bespoke Hairstyle, come let us get you sister locked up when you are ready. Um, next, I'll be talking about the process of um, maybe additional facts about sister locks and also what happens with the consultation, what you should expect from a sister locks consultation as well. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that information as well. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching this posting and um, stay connected. Let me know if you try my henna mix, um, but um, let me know your experience of henna and whether you have found it beneficial. Um, the next time I'll be doing this henna mix will probably be in four to six weeks time or maybe more like six weeks. And it might, the ingredients might change slightly. If the ingredients are going to change slightly, I might do another posting. If it's the same, then I, I won't bother. Thank you, everyone. Please, please stay connected. Take care. Thanks for watching this posting. Bye. Ah, well, Mono Safel SK.